yeah, I've heard it all before, but if it doesn't have quickness, I don't want it. I do want a car that's well equipped, but I don't want to spend all my money on it. Most sporty compacts feel like they've been made for someone that's five foot one. That's been my problem. It's got to have more. It's got to have class. My time is valuable. I want a car that's quick and easy to take care of. I want a V6, five speed. I want fun. It's what you want. It's a new species, Beretta. Chevrolet's new sport machine that goes beyond what you expect from a compact coupe. Quad halogen arrow lamps, a low sloping hood, distinctive wheel well eyebrow styling, contoured side mirrors, door into roof styling, semi flush glass, vertical flush door handles, a wind sculpted rear glass and deck lid flows into a full width wraparound tail lamp treatment and bumper fascias. The look is distinctively American. Beretta's sporty looks come to life on the road because Beretta is a road machine. Quick, agile, sleek. With a drag coefficient below 0.34, Beretta cuts through the air as easily as Porsche 944. Yet beneath the beauty, lies the beast. An optional 2.8 liter V6 with multi-port fuel injection. Road muscle for impressive acceleration and passing power. It meshes with a German designed Getrog five-speed manual for precise shifts and sporty performance. Or for convenience, an optional automatic transmission also available for the standard two liter four-cylinder engine with electronic fuel injection. Beretta is a sure-footed species providing excellent traction over its terrain with all-season steel-belted radial tires and front-wheel drive. And its roadability comes alive with a standard sports suspension that includes a rear stabilizer bar to minimize sway through the corners. Adding to its quick response and agility are standard power steering and power brakes. Distinctive, aggressive, roadworthy, Beretta prowls the streets in style and its style continues on the inside. There's comfortable seating for five, more than many sport coupes in its class. Specially styled for Beretta, luxurious cloth reclining bucket seats feature separate head restraints and special suspension systems to minimize road vibration. And with a trunk capacity of 13.5 cubic feet, Beretta has plenty of room for your carry along. Beretta puts convenience within reach, so you can park portables in eight available storage areas throughout the cabin. Beretta's flight deck controls track overall operating conditions at a glance. Standard tack and instrument gauges keep you up to the moment on engine functions. A standard trip odometer keeps tabs as the miles roll by. And pod-mounted controls are all within easy reach of the driver. More of Beretta's standard traits that cost extra on other coupes include dual sport mirrors with a left-hand remote feature for added convenience, and tinted glass to reduce glare, a driving environment designed to maximize your comfort, your pleasure. Beretta is one well-equipped species ready to take on the road. The origin of the species, a vehicle with Beretta's traits doesn't just happen. It requires state-of-the-art manufacturing and assembly to bring it to life. Automation plays a critical role. Computer-controlled robots put spark into Beretta. A laser-guided welding system brings the roof and quarter panel together, the first laser-guided welding in assembly worldwide. 
Automated vision checking systems use more than 380 cameras to inspect underbodies, body sides, and other key components for dimensional integrity. A laser vision station checks each Beretta body at 100 prescribed points to ensure exacting, precise tolerances. Assembly plant technology seems to have a life of its own in Beretta's fully automated modular paint shop, the most modern in the world. Every Beretta body is submerged in zinc-rich Uniprime. Submersion ensures every body niche, every crevice is coated with this corrosion-inhibiting armor. All bodies then enter climate-controlled booths where computer-controlled robots apply a high solids enamel base color coat, topped by a protective clear top coat that helps Beretta resist chipping and fading. Unlike many competitors, this top coat is available for all Beretta colors. The result is a vehicle that retains that wet look, keeps a shine to its coat and its value. Beretta GT, a more fierce species. Combine this optional package with available performance handling and you've got a machine that rules the road. Beretta GT roams a sporty territory with black accents throughout the body, plus 15-inch styled steel wheels and wide tread plus for all-season Eco GTs that grip the road. And an available level three suspension, performance tuned for Beretta GT with larger stabilizer bars, specially valved strut shocks and more that help take on life's curves with a firmer grip. GT dresses up on the inside as well with lateral support, body-hugging bucket seats, and custom sport cloth, a fold-down center armrest for rear seat passengers, and its own sporty steering wheel. Beretta instrumentation pulses to life with an optional electronic instrument cluster that displays engine RPM, coolant temperature, oil pressure, and more in colorful liquid crystal readouts. The integral trip computer also provides instantaneous fuel economy, cruising range, and outside temperature at your command and you can give your Beretta extra spice with a variety of convenience and luxury options to make it a species all its own. Follow your instincts. Track down the new species in compact sport coupes. Capture a Beretta from Chevrolet. You know, when most people say the name Reggie Jackson, they think baseball or home run. And I think that's fair. But if you say Reggie Jackson to my friends or people that really know me well, they're going to say this guy just loves cars. Where to start from? Started from my dad. Where else? My dad used to take me out on the front porch in the summertime and for the fact that we had nothing else to do around the house. What we try to do is to name cars, tell what year they were, what make they were, before they got underneath the street light, which was right in front of the house. And you had to be able to recognize a car just by its silhouette, by the tail lights, by the front bumper, by something that would tell you what kind of car it was before it got underneath that telltale light. The guy with the most names of cars, or the most cars for the night, won the game before you went to bed. Thus my love of cars, thus started my car collection. I've been collecting cars for probably 15, 20 years now. And what's an automobile collection without a 1957 Chevy? Original interior. Painted Honduras maroon. How about to my right here, a 1966 Nova. 327, 350 horse, four speed, 12 bolt rear end, right off the showroom floor. That's how you could buy it back then. You know, if you went to high school in 62, 63, or 64 and drove one of these babies, a Stingray, you were called a rich guy. Fuel injected, 327, 360 horse, four speed. You know you could have bought one of those babies for right around $3,900 to $4,000. Not bad, huh? For me, the love of all my cars, the car that's the cat's meow, is my 55 Chevy. I'm a muscle car collector. Those are the cars I really love. And about 40 to 50 of the 75 I own are performance cars. I've tried to have this baby stay a step ahead of the rest of them. And by doing that, what I've done is put a 454 in it with right around 600 horsepower, a five-speed transmission, a 12-volt rear end, and in order to stop that baby, it's got four-wheel disc brakes on it. 
30 years ago is when Chevrolet built this car. You know, Chevrolet's been building cars, what I call the heartbeat of America, for right around 75 years. And in this, their 75th year, their anniversary year, they've come up with two more winners, the Corsica and the Beretta. You know, I've been pretty fortunate to be around a few winners in my time, and I think the Beretta is destined to be another one. I've also been pretty lucky because I got a chance to test drive one of the first production models. And man, was I impressed. I like the appointments. I like the fact that everything is right in front of me. I especially like the gauges. The seats fit me, and I'm a big guy. I didn't feel like I was cramped in. I like the way it handled in curves. The steering had sort of a sports car feel. Against the competition, Beretta's got what it takes to be a real winner. And there are a couple of fellows on the IMSA circuit by the name of Tom and Bobby Archer that know what it's about. I think that they know about racing what I know about winning baseball games. They're real champions. It's been the year of the Archers. With 12 years experience racing front wheel drive vehicles, they're no strangers to the performance and handling characteristics of front drive cars. First place at Lime Rock, Connecticut in a specially modified Cavalier hatchback. First and second place at Watkins Glen, New York, again driving Cavaliers. Tommy and Bobby Archer have set the pace in the Champion Spark Plug Series for front-wheel drive cars on the International Motorsports Association circuit. But the victories haven't stopped there. They've also brought a Corvette home to victory four out of six times in the Sports Car Club of America's Escort Endurance Championship. These SCCA victories earned the brothers both the driver and team championship while gaining the Manufacturer's Cup for Chevrolet. The Beretta GT in these demonstrations is equipped with a standard 2.8 liter V6 multi-port fuel injection engine with 125 horsepower, optional 206-60 R15 Eagle GT tires, and as all cars in these matchups, an automatic transmission. Toyota Celica GT is equipped with a four-cylinder, two-liter, 16-valve engine with 115 horsepower and 185.70 R13 tires. How do Toyota's 16 valves perform against six cylinders? The Beretta has outclassed them all in straight line speed. V6 just gives you a lot smoother feeling. Nissan 200 SXXE is equipped with a four-cylinder, two-liter engine with 99 horsepower.